Hello and welcome to my tutorial on Atlantica Online character creation. Atlantica Online is an MMORPG with a very unique turn-based battle system where you embark on a journey through historic events, legends and myths from around the world accompanied by historical heroes on a quest to find Atlantis but enough for introduction. Let's get down to it. First things first, a character creation once you have created your account. Logged into the game and chosen the server you wish to play on, you will be at the character creation screen. First step is to pick from the three available races, descendants of Atlantis, hero and Atlantean. There are no real racial bonuses or such to any of these, but rather where you will start the game and the different quest chains you will follow on the lower levels as a descendant of Atlantis. You will start from Southeast Asia. Hero type characters will begin the game with level 30 and start out in South America. As a hero you will also get a special free mount although you get various starter packs and free temporary mounts on top of that, as any other race. And finally, the Atlantean type characters will begin the game in Atlantis. Now, for a closer look on each of the classes, beginning with those available under Descendant of Atlantis. Sword. The sword main is the tankiest in game, especially because of the defense bonuses you get from being able to equip a shield. On the downside, you will lack in damage. Sword main is a great asset in a team, but perhaps not the greatest character for solo playing on higher levels. Among various fairly high damage spells, sword mains will be able to cast a huge debuff on monsters at later levels, which will turn bosses a lot squishier, making sword mains even greater tanks in a team fight. Spear. Spear main has the highest physical damage in the game, especially at level 160 and up. Because of the bonuses you will receive from the talents by this level on the downside, Spear main is the squishiest of melee type mains. So be careful when going for that. YOLO swag 420 no scope. All in, as it can often lead to death, as long as you have some proper armor. You should be just fine though. Oh, and don't forget to invest in magic defense as Spear lacks in it just as well. Spear's magic skills are not even worth mentioning. Axe. Axe main, while not as tanky as sword, along with power saw main, is the next best thing, but also able to deal some decent damage. Axe main gets some pretty helpful spells such as the ability to freeze monsters and a fairly good buff on the downside. Axe main doesn't really excel in anything specific, so your role in a team fight will be to stay out of the way of the key players and just find something to do. Power saw, you will first need a character of level 100 or over to unlock this character. Power Saw is quite similar to Axe Main, perhaps a tiny bit tankier and has some more use in higher level team fights with his AoE spells. Nothing much more to add here, like Axe but better, unless there's something specific you like about Axe. The main, possibly the best all around range main, you have very high damage, nearly on bar with Spear, but you can hit more monsters with one shot, including flying monsters on the downside. Similarly to Axe Main, Gunners are sort of good for everything, not insanely great for anything, but at least you can hit flying enemies. Bow Main, very high single target damage, especially in PvP, where it does exceed the Spear, but that's about it. Oh, you also get a spell that can seal enemies from casting spells and another to shield yourself, along with allies, from enemies' spells. But going for the latter will mean missing out on another spell that buffs your attack and is probably more useful all around. If you simply like bows, this is not the only option, so stay tuned. Cannon main. Now cannon main is sort of a class between melee and range. Unlike the other range mains, you won't be able to hit flying mobs, but you do get a bit more health in your attacks to deal damage to more mobs. You will also have some more health in the range types. Cannon also has the highest attack range and damage against buildings, but because of this, unless you put some serious gold into gear, your single target damage will be quite low, which can suck if that single target is a boss. Again, since cannon specific rings and necklaces will cost a lot less than those for other classes, you won't need to spend as much on these as you would with any other class if you have played other MMOs. The cannon main is quite likely the most unique and perhaps something you haven't come across in any other game. Instrument main. This one is sort of a cross between bow and guns with a lot of useful magic abilities thrown in. As a matter of fact, you could look at instrument main as a range type caster with your ability to drain enemies' mana and debuff them in various ways. The downside of instruments is its low damage and because of this, soloing higher level areas can be difficult. Staff main, the caster, most of your damage comes from area of effect spells, but you also get a buff and a healing skill on later levels. You can decide whether you want to focus on attacks, skills, buffing or healing, unlike the majors in most MMOs, thanks to some defensive spells. You won't really be a whole lot squishier than other types and this class isn't really any harder to play than the others. Staff main also gets insanely high magic defense and because enemies do use magic attacks, oftentimes, it might just be that after the enemy boss casts an insanely strong area of effect spell on your party, it's not the tanky melee types, but instead staff main who's still standing. Next up is the only class in the hero race, Celestial Hunter, she is basically a stronger and more offense oriented version of bow main. A good choice for PvP or if you're interested in exploring the Mayans and start out in South America. On to the Atlanteans, the Blade Master. This class, while sharing some similarities and skills with the Sword Main, is again more offense oriented and not nearly as tanky. You do get the great debuff skill that common Sword Main does though. With Main, this class is sort of like two in one. You get to shapeshift between a mage and a range type character. First, you need to fill up a gauge by killing monsters in your normal range form to turn into a lightning spitting goddess for a few turns. The Whip Main's basic attacks, while a little weaker than those of Gun and Bow Main, is still good enough to be useful. This class is probably the most fun to play all around because of the variety of things you can do as a Whip Main. But again, your usefulness in these super serious team fights can be a little questionable. And last but definitely not least, the Battle Mage. In short, this class is going to get nerfed sooner or later and then again. In a bit more detail, your basic attacks hit as many mobs as a cannon, but also flying mobs. You get the strongest AO skill in game and while you might not have quite as much health as the tankier melee types, because of your super high magic defense, you take a lot less damage from magic attacks and while you still remain somewhat threatened by physical attacks, there are the talents to increase the amount of healing you can receive from various items that heal you when you get hit. So basically, on top of being able to deal the amount of damage nearly on bar with spear mains and multiple enemies at once and being nearly immune to magic damage, you also tank nearly as well as the actual tanks. While at the very end game, once everybody has all the fancy items, you might not really have an edge over other classes. It is certainly the easiest class to get into the serious endgame content at first, when you still lack the gold to buy decent gear. And something to keep in mind, unlike most MMOs in Atlantica Online, all the classes get multiple and almost as useful magic skills. So none of the classes rely purely on magic or physical attacks and also the fact that most of the time you will be controlling multiple characters in your formation, your main character being just one of these, meaning that you will have other tanks. Rangers and the mages available, your main character will simply be the strongest of these. 